The Korngold and the Britain Concertos, they have been a long, long, long dream for me to record the two of them together. In Korngold you have the champagne and the fireworks and the indulgence and the, you know, it's, it's an ocean of, of, of emotions. There are very few people that are full of fantasy but actually can work with a conductor in such an extremely detailed way. And her tone and her different, her variety of tools that she can use on the instrument um, is incredible. I never get this sense of routine that here we go again, I know what this is like, you know, I, I'm never there. But it keeps me on my toes and it keeps me nervous. So I think in a way I wouldn't let go of this vulnerability. I think that is completely crucial for, for yeah, in, in the process of, of creating something. I remember hearing Britain Concerto for the very first time and immediately it was like a language which I didn't understand. It was a completely new language, but even though I didn't understand it, it was talking to me so strongly and I wanted so badly to learn this language. Britain is a in very intense piece of music where you need a character who can be reserved and very much like Britain, actually, this kind of British in control person, but then you need someone who could completely let loose. And, you know, heartache to, to, to let your heart go. Uh, and Wilde is not scared to, to let go. This repertory is 
as romantic as any of the other violin concertos I have recorded, and they maybe they have a 20th century language, but they are incredibly romantic still. They speak to me in exactly the same way as Mozart concertos or Beethoven concerto or Bach, or it's, it, as long as they give the feeling of here and now. Thank you.